G'day everyone, it's Travis here from New South Wales. How's it all going? I've got a little project here I want to introduce you to. Uh, it's of uh, the bracket system for an M45 supercharger that's to go onto a BMW M10 engine. Um, this project's in collaboration with Hyde from Hyde Motorworks in Stuttgart. Um, Hyde and I have been working together on this for about 12 months now and we finally got uh, a prototype version that we're just about to put through CAD and um, make up some, uh, some brackets. So have a look at this. And here it is. So um, we've got the, the engine obviously on the left there in the picture um, on the slant and the, the M45 uh, supercharger on the right. Um, this particular um, supercharger is actually the M65 variant of the M45. Uh, as was found in Mercedes and Minis. Um, so what I wanted to do with this build was to, to keep the supercharger high um, so it would actually look good when you pop the hood and it's right there in your face. Um, but on the other hand, I wanted to keep the, the weight low. Um, so that's why the alternator is actually sitting quite low there in the bottom right of the screen. Um, I wanted to do that because in keeping with the, the engineers at BMW, uh, keeping the distribution of the weight quite low and, and obviously the engine is slanted so it can um, attempt to maintain that as well. The sump actually does sit a little bit lower on um, lower to the ground than uh, other uh, M10, uh, sorry other engines. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add, uh, add that effect of keeping the weight low plus keeping the um, the supercharger um, well represented in the engine bay um, so I think on the whole I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out um, the supercharger sits at 30 degrees on an angle um, which is the exact opposite of the way that the uh, M10 is placed in the engine bay that also sits at a 30 degree angle um, so I think it, it balances itself out quite well. So down low here, we can see that the alternator is, uh, is quite low now, and that's actually not the original M10 alternator. This one is the M52 from an E46. Um, so we found that that upgrade is actually quite a good idea and to get away from the old um, uh, older technology and the, um, the less amperage models. So for those that know the, uh, the Eaton M45, it's got uh, three mounting points. So these two at the front here and one at the rear. So it's only got one at the back. Um, the mount bracket system that I've made for the back, uh, you can see actually has provision for um, supporting the intake plenum as well up the top because um, in the original uh, M10 engine there was a, a single bracket that came off the side here and mounted to the side which then went down and mounted um, into this point here. So we've done away with that and just made this whole bracket which supports the supercharger um, the, the support for the actual intake plenum as well which we've retained. So to run the supercharger itself, um, this uh, particular M45 or M65 was a seven rib version from the uh, one of the Mercedes. Well, we'll only use the six ribs of that. We'll not use that actual outer rib there, that position, um, which is no big deal. Um, but from the crank, um, we actually had to add a, um, a pulley in itself onto the front of the single um, the single V-belt crank pulley that was um, original with the, the M10. Um, this one being from a, uh, an S320 um, Mercedes, which um, fit perfectly in there. And if you've noticed so far, you'll notice that um, there's a fair few pulleys there. So um, this conversion has been made using two individual belts. So the inner V-belt has been retained. Uh, on the water pump and the inner part of the crank pulley there and a new pulley put on to this alternator which is a, a single groove uh, an A-style um, V-belt which is 10 mil. so that one's an individual belt and then on the outside of that we have the second pulley 
which um, uses this tensioning pulley up the top here. Um, the, the new crank pulley that's been put onto the original M10 pulley and also then that runs up to the, um, the, the pulley itself of the supercharger. So that will be out front. The six rib pulley will be out front of the original V-belt pulley which sits in its uh, normal position. And then a couple of uh, small little um, pulleys to reroute things in there. Um, those two there in particular are there for the V-belt. And the two pulleys, of course, we've got this one here, which um, tensions uh, up and down, which does the six rib pulley. And then the lower one here, which was one of the original um, uh, old um, adjustment, adjustment brackets for the original M10 alternator. Um, we've used that one here to, to adjust um, sideways movement for the alternator to tension the pulley there. So the nuts and bolts of this system we have here, just a front, what we call the front alternator plate. At the back here we've got what's called the side plate which mounts to um, the side of the engine there, um, behind there, with those two bolts. Um, that then has some supporting brackets in the middle here and then there's two underneath down there. Uh, they all bolt through each other to create a lot more stability here for this plate so that we can hang a little bit of weight off here and up the top here with the supercharger. And also too, to gain a little bit of extra stability and, and stiffness, we've added in this, um, this bracket here, which as you can see mounts to the original place where the, the original M10 alternators, the old styles, used to go in there. So. This system here, um, it will be quite stiff um, and, and provide, um, yeah, not very much movement at all, I'm hoping. Now to make any little adjustments in aligning the, the, the belts, what we can do is we can, um, for, um, for, sorry, um, top and bottom um, alignment, we can do uh, washers in here just to create some um, extra space to provide a bit of lift. Um, we can also do that at the back uh, through this um, mount here as well. And um, for four and old sideways movement, sorry, we can actually put some spaces behind here as well to make that. So yeah, there's a little sandwich plate in here and another little um, what's called the small alternator plate out the front here which then these brackets mount to also to the um, the tensioning assembly for the supercharger six rib belt mounts to the front of this bracket here which is slightly larger than than this one so in essence what we've got is um, a base system that we can mount hopefully in the future we can do the AMR 500 we can do the SC 12 the 14 um, and perhaps the M62 Eaton as well onto this, um, onto this bracket system uh, with a few modifications that uh, hopefully I'm yet to do. Um, but at this stage, the M45 uh, or the M65, which is the M45 variant, um, sits really well on the M10. And um, watch this space as we're just about to get some um, brackets catted up and uh, the prototype should be in full swing fairly soon. Alright, cheers for now.